previously on RL Graph. I don't take any fire damage. Fight me. Yeah, that's what I thought, Dragon. That is exactly what I thought. He's got a lot of health. He's pretty beefy. I'll give him that. I'm not sure how much damage he'd do to me, but uh, I don't think I have to worry about that, you know? Bruh, you're, you're actually joking me. This is his loot. He's got so much health. Why even bother? Oh, oh god. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Get, get me. What's gonna spawn? <gasps> no, 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 no. No, no, no. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. Uh-uh. Oh, 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 it's a trap. Oh my god. Oh, it is very much so a trap in here. Nope. We're going home. Nope. Mm -mm. Nope. That would have been death. That 100% would have been death. Apples are red. That like button better be blue, because if it isn't, Pog Dog will come after you. What is up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Arlcraft. In today's episode, it is finally time to begin mining. So, we have a dragon's eye now, right? And I, I told you what the dragon's eye did, you know, besides this, it is becoming nighttime, okay. But uh, the dragon's eye has a special ability where you can toggle which kind of thing you want to find, right? So, I did a little bit of mining over here. So, let's say I have it toggle coal. Let's see if I can get it to do it. Are, are you going to do it? There we go. It does that. So, it'll ping coal. Right? So, it'll ping it within a, I think, 10, 15 block radius. And you can go ahead and find the stuff. See? We got some coal over there. I didn't even see this. Look. So, I went ahead and I mined a whole bunch of coal in hopes that I can get a Ganok to spawn. So I can get a Ganok Spear. And I got one to spawn, I killed it, and it dropped a spear. Out of all this coal that I mined, I got two Ganoks to spawn. That is trash. That is literally trash. That's awful, right? That's that's awful. So I um I named this one Reach for Riches. I had a great idea. I was like, dude, that's a good name for a pickaxe. Um I gave the Fortune 3 pickaxe on breaking three and efficiency four. Also, I think in the last episode I said I lost this pickaxe. That was wrong. It was sitting in my diamond chest. So that was not the case. But um, we're going to go back to the house and we're going to take that Ganox Sphere and we're going to make a new tool because in this mining episode, we... Yeah, okay, we're not going to... The Dragon's Eye really... Ah, uh, I'm such a hoarder that it's just... It's so... Oh, there we go. Can I get two Ganox Spheres? No? No, okay. Well, that's... That's what happens. They spawn out of mining ores and you can uh, use them to make cool tools. Um, next up, I'd like to find a Vapula. Vapulas spawn from more rare ores like uh, redstone, diamond, stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to hunt down dragon nests, right? So I did a little bit of studying and dragon nests are actually quite easy to find. There's a system to how they spawn. I'm talking about the five tier dragons spawn underground, right? So there's a, there's a system to how they spawn where they only spawn in specific biomes, they spawn at a specific level, and they spawn... Where am I going? Why am I over here? Hi guys, is it nighttime? No, I don't, I don't know why you're all spawned. Is it because it's cloudy? Why can I hit you? Okay, we're, you're, not, you're not my problem. We're gonna, we're gonna go over here. Back to my dumpy little house. Alright, so first things first, I have a lot of coal. Way too much coal, so it has to become... You know, actually, coal chest is not that full. We're just gonna dump it in here, because I'm lazy. And using this tool, we're gonna get a lot of stone. And we're going to actually start... Smelting some stone bricks, so that way I can build a new base. Once I find a new place to live. So, I'm gonna probably look off camera a lot to find a new place that's cool, that's suitable to live. Since it's probably gonna take me a couple of hours. I am super, super picky when it comes to design. I'm a perfectionist, and this house is nice, but it's kind of basic, right? It's it's a little basic. Um, so we make one of these, which makes a wooden guard. And then I think... Make one of these, which is a wooden rod. I think the wooden guard needs iron to make it into an iron pike guard. If I remember this right, we need one of these. Iron Pike Guard. So... Why... Oh, well. You are... Ain't, ain't you cute. So Iron Pike Guard and that check. And this is all I should need to make that. Uh, but first, there's a way to upgrade this pick with XP. 
So its elemental type is Earth. That's what all these come in handy for. Um, we have this is Earth, and I swear I had another Earth one. I I definitely don't. We're gonna have to go to a desert and we're gonna have to hunt down some boys for this. Um, okay. Well, we're gonna need a forge. There's a lesser forge and a greater forge, right? Let's actually search forge. So we're gonna make a forge, which is I don't see it. Here's the master equipment forge diamond block and a greater okay so we're gonna go all the way up to master so we're gonna make the first one which is a crafting table and a, an axe uh so we need a crafting table and we're gonna make a wooden oh wait no i have one already never mind oh i was gonna make a wooden axe and make it backwards because it triggers a lot of people apparently not necessarily people that have watched my videos but i've seen streamers that get a lot of crap about it. They're like, he, he builds his, his axes backwards like a heathen. Disgusting. Alright, so we're going to make you into a forge level 2. And which level building do I need for this? 18? Okay, so we're going to upgrade our building. Of course I don't have a... Okay. Oh, what is this? An experience tome. Ho -ho. Ho -ho -ho. All right. So now we have a master equipment forge, which I don't really have a spot for, because this house is a cluster. Move, doggo, please. Move, senpai. <laughs> Pop it there. Um. So there's also a way to upgrade the Ganok sphere that I'm not quite sure. All right. So two things. First off, I we're looking for an equipment infuser. I definitely said that wrong. Uh, it should be purple down here. So a lesser equipment forge. Yeah, I get to make the axe and some lapis. So we have our crafting table. We have some sticks. We're gonna get some wood, and we're gonna build a cursed axe backwards, the proper way. I don't know. I've just always built axes this way. I mean, technically, it doesn't matter because. No way is backwards because, you know, it's just a matter of perspective. That's metaphorical, okay? So now we need some lapis lazuli. Give us a nice stack of that. My inventory is really looking like trash already. Put this boy around here. Boom. Now we have an equipment infuser, which kind of looks cool. And I also messed up on the wooden rod. I need an iron rod, which I think is... That's wrong. This. Also wrong. I... Th is it... This? Oh my god, what am I doing? That's a sword. What... What am I doing? Yeah, I don't I don't remember how to do it. <laughs> Hold up. I need to look this up. Wow, so I, uh, I kind of had it right. It technically is like a sword. I... I did the... I swear it. Okay, okay. We're, we're, it's fine. It's fine. All right. So I think we put it into here. Oh, wow. That's. Oh. So that's. Really? That's it? That's all I got? 400 XP? What drops those? Hold up. So we got Mudshot charges and we've got Boulder Blast charges. And I think also these things, yeah, throwing sites. So we need to go to a desert. So I'm going to clean out the inventory real quick. And we're going to go to a desert and kill some stuff so we can build this boy. You know, this isn't quite a desert, but I do have my god armor. And this dragon did give me a lot of crap in the beginning. This is the dragon that burnt down that new home village. We're not letting him get away with that. Oh, you think you can hold me? Wow, what a guy. Oh, that actually hurt a lot more than I th thought it was going to. What? What about my feather falling? Come on down, dragon. Where'd you, where'd you go? Oh. What's up, guy? Come on. Come on. Come on. If I die to this dragon, that'd be really sad. I don't think he can actually kill me if I miss my shots. He's also a gray dragon. I need his scales. I forgot all about him. I went and searched for a gray dragon. Also, this weapon doesn't have the same... I don't have swifter slashes on it, so I have to actually wait between clicks. 
Dragons are like super buggy when they grab you. Dude, don't heal the dragon. What are you What are you doing? A dragon would torch you. Nymph. Oh my god. I will kill you first, Nymph. Okay, he's almost dead. Can't see. There we go. Jeez, man. Don't help the dragon. What is wrong with you? Can I do it with a weapon in my hand? No, because I get luck if I if I did do that. Hey, another dragon dead. Yeah, boy. That was the dragon that killed me a lot, and I, I think it was the second episode. Yeah, it was the perfect village episode. Suck it, dragon. Yeah, we're going to go look for a desert. Um, I just realized that I haven't actually found a desert. Oh, he's alive, too. Nice. I haven't found a desert on the map, so we're going to have to search for a bit. And once we do, it's probably going to be daytime, so we're going to have to wait then. And so it's nighttime again, so we can go ahead and kill lots of stuff in the desert. And get our earth drops, since that's where most of the earth type elemental spawn is inside of deserts. I mean, at least I get to explore new areas, so there's that. Ooh, there's a bronze dragon that's burning a hippogriff. Hey. Hey, friend. Ow. Hey, friend. Hey, 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 guy. I'm not supposed to be fighting dragon. Why am I out here killing dragons? This episode's- we're supposed to be looking for level 5 dragons this episode. Alright, um... You either come down and fight me on my t oh, not you guys. You either come down here and fight me on my terms, or you don't fight me. Because you're just spawning these guys, which... Alright, I'm, I'm just gonna leave. You guys suck, and that dragon is... He's just a bronze dragon, I don't even need him. That's a blight boy, ooh. What do you want to drop me? You want to drop me something? Yes? What did he drop? Besides just heart crystals. I think I still need those. He just dropped heart crystals. He dropped six though! Let's go! Alright, back to looking for- <laughs> No more dragons. I saw that mob tower, but it's- it's fine. Um, no more dragons. We're just gonna find a desert, okay? I swear. Desert. No distractions. Five minutes later. You know, actually, this is a good... Well, this is not quite... I don't really want to fight you guys, but I do want to test something out here, right? So, we are looking for a tier 5 dragon. That is essentially one of the, the big goals of this episode, is to find... To be able to find those dungeons. The uh, underground dragons. And I... Can you go away? Go away. And essentially, I did learn something where there have, there's a there's two different types, right? So there's a fire dragon that's level five, and then there's ice dragons that are level five. Uh, the level five ice dragons are actually easier to find because the ice biomes are smaller. So if we change this to emerald, and we go about 15 blocks down, I I don't have a compass. I should have brought a compass. We go far enough. Why am I stuck again? Is it because of the. Am I just breaking blocks too fast? Oh, okay. I'm, I'm just stuck right there, apparently. But maybe. Dude. Why is this happening? I... Am I just breaking blocks too fast? I'm taking damage from this glitchy stuff. Alright, I'm definitely pretty far down now. Yeah, I don't think there's a dragon's lair here. I'm pretty far down. I, I'm pretty sure I'd see the emerald. However, I did just get a ton of packed ice and ice. I mean, I'll take it. You know, I'm using Silk Touch. I might as well take what I'm getting. Because when we go to the nether and finally get the nether to a safe point, we can make like an ice bridge or something. And then packed ice is just used for Aussie liner stuff, which we kind of don't need anymore. But, you know, it's, it's whatevs. And we're stuck again. Gotta love it. I love it. Why am I taking damage? It's one of the most annoying glitches in RL Craft. Alright, we're gonna get out of here and we're gonna keep looking for a desert. There's there's no level 5 dragon here. This is big sad times. Um, so this is this is a site for really, really sore eyes. There's a freaking blight. Whatever those guys are. Imp imp guy, whatever. 
Also, I didn't think about this, but um, if you put fire aspect on your bow, or I guess flame, whatever, for the bow. Dude, dude, no, no. Can I, can I hit you? I, I literally can't hit- okay. He's dead now. We're good. Hi, guys. I'm immune to fire. I could just walk in the lava. Yeah, if you make your bow into a flame bow, you actually get you get more damage on ice dragons. So you can kill ice dragons more efficiently. So uh, this is an interesting one. I found one of these little, you know, the villages that don't have waypoints, but are very pretty. And there was a giant lair right next to it. And the giant is just kind of stuck in the ground. I don't... <laughs> Ah, man, it's like taking candy from a giant baby. I mean, there's not much point in killing him. We've already seen. They don't drop anything. I don't know why I should even bother doing this. One last hit, buddy. You have one last hit, and it's all gonna be over. Oh, nope, I was wrong. What? Zero? Oh, now you're dead. All right. Well, I don't know where your drops are, but I mean, they're trash anyways, so... Just gonna take all the seed XP, let it shower my body, and I guess we're gonna go loot your trash chests and see if maybe you actually do have stuff worth looting? Okay. All the other chests are gone. The only chest that's here has like 20 million pairs of shears. I'm out of here. This place sucks, and I can't find a desert. Since we didn't do this in the last episode, even though I marked it, let's, let's do this real quick. Any sea serpents? No? Okay. So we don't have nether wart yet, and this place is a good source of nether wart. We go get some nether wart. Uh, I also don't have the soul sand, I don't think. I mean, I know banshees drop soul sand, but I haven't really killed that many banshees yet in this... In this let's play, so we're just gonna take everything. When I say everything, I mean everything. I like enchantment tables. I don't know why. Drew strike? Entry through evasion. Trash. For PvP. Destructive? Meh. Nope. I will take the rune, though. Flinging to... What, what? They, they missed an opportunity to, game, to name that enchantment yeeting. It should have been like yeet. And then every time you hit someone with it, it literally just makes the sound yeet. Um, I could also take all these glowstone. I just don't think I care that much to do so. Assassinate three? No. Comic deconstructor is good. Ooh. Oh, it's for throwing weapons. Ooh, advanced power three, efficiency three, what? Hello, okay. I thought these were trash. I I stand corrected, I, wow. Okay, you got some loot, I'll, I'll give you that. Oh man, it's a sea serpent, I want that. But it's by, I mean, it's also taking damage from them. Oh, okay, also a dragon. Chillin'. I want the Sea Serpent. I wonder if I could just swoop in, take a few shots at it, get a kill. I'm gonna get Mining Fatigue. That's okay, right? What if I... Why, why can't I hurt it? Oh, but that was a bad idea. This is a bad idea. Bad idea. Real bad idea. Oh, bad idea. I, I don't have any arrows, do I? I do! Wait, where'd I get arrows? I've I have four arrows. Maybe it'll just die. And then I can just take it. I mean, I don't want red sea serpent armor anyways, but like this could work out. How much health do you have? Oh, Oh my god, look at it try. <laughs> look at it try. It doesn't actually hit me? Am I hitting it? I don't even think I'm hitting it. Oh, oh boy. Okay, now we're in trouble. Now we're in some real trouble here. 
Guys. Guys. Get. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. This is regretful. I have made mistakes. Mistakes of. Oh, he just. What keeps jerking my screen? Well, there's more of them. They're not sucking me in, but I also can't move. They're forcing me slowly to look at them. I'm also like super thirsty. I just, I, I just, I just need to drink, please, so I could see. You know, si oh, there it is. You know, I was gonna say sirens aren't actually that. Okay, okay, okay. Sea surf and siren combination. Not fair. Not fair. Not fair. Totally not fair. Not fair. This is not fair. No. No. Stop. Stop. You. Oh, stop. 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 Dude. Problem. Problem. Oh, we have problems. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay, he's dead. Jeez. Oh, my God. I saw my. Can I not. Dude, I'm gonna drown. Please. Oh, no, 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 please. Okay. Oh, oh my god. Um, the sea serpent fangs. I, I don't, I don't want that. I want the sea serpent fangs. Okay. Oh man, I underestimated the ocean for a second there, and that's, that's what happens. Uh, get out of my inventory, please. I don't see us finding a tier 5 dragon cave in this episode, and if we do, we're not going to fight it. We'll fight it in the next one, but, um... We're still supposed to be finding a desert. Wow, looky here, we found us a village. Haven't found a village in like literal years. There's not been many villages. Ooh, we going up here and we stealing yo enchantment table. Both of them. They're my enchantment tables now. Why am I taking them? Why not, honestly? I saw Another building that looks a little familiar. This is a kind of cool village. It's like in, in between some mountains, but this building right here looks just a little familiar, doesn't it? Oh, we've got Unbreaking. Wait, what's it called? The Parachute of Light. Cursed Edge 2. You take damage based on your attack? Ew! Penetration 5 is great. Advanced Efficiency 2 is pretty juicy. Okay. Oh, we're gonna check these, get out of this village, and keep looking for a desert, since, you know... That's... that's the goal here. Magnetic 1, that's pretty cool. Uh, weightless. Blocking speed reduction? Nah, I don't really... nah. I only use shields. Um, penetration 5 again. Cool. Cursed Edge 2. Advanced efficiency 2, that means we can get advanced efficiency 3. That's awesome. Um, my inventory is kind of full, so I'm probably going to go back home and dump this real quick. And then we're going to come back here and probably just keep... Look at how far out we are. We're probably just going to keep going, to be honest. We find a desert. It's almost nighttime, so it's like perfect time to find that desert. So this is pretty cool, but we got 40 Grey Dragon Skills. Now we're sitting on 61 Dragon Skills from that raid. Or from that little trip that we took. And we... I guess we're actually at full heart containers... I guess I forgot that, but we did get a bunch more, so now we have four <laughs> hearts that we don't need. Probably gonna stop grabbing them. I do love having them. It's just cool to show off how many you've gotten, but I, it always takes up so much inventory. It's always so much work. Um, it's normally not worth the effort. And now we have six additional enchantment tables because I've been hoarding and I really need to move. My inventory is quickly becoming disorganized because i just i have too much stuff like this chest it's supposed to be for bobbles what is this it's kind of just a sitting chest of trash oh this is interesting so we've got a oh boy this village has got uh Ooh. you know what i think i want to loot it I, I really do and you know what i want revenge i want revenge for all those deaths that episode you know we're gonna break in here real quick. Break you. Oh, he's a blight. Break you. Break you. Why can't I move? Break you. I've got way more health now, boyos. Try to fight me. Oh, I don't have a summoning staff. I need to make a new summoning staff. No reapers. No reapers. That's right, boys. I've also got a bow and arrow. It's got crazy power. 
Boom! Headshot! Boom! I missed. Boom! Headshot! Come on, boys. Try to hit me. Try to hit me. Come on. My game just really lagged. Oh, there's an Enderman. I don't know why I just tried to shoot an Enderman. Um, you know, we're going to teleport our mount here. And we're just going to go down there. Kind of scope it out. Because this time, I'm well more... I'm way more prepared. Right? There's creepers and stuff down here. So I don't know if I even want to actually... You know, risk that. I wish I had my summoning staff. Well, that's interesting. So, uh, yeah. Fun thing happened is I, uh, I smacked a dude. And he knocked me down here. He was a, uh, special mob. And he knocked me down here. So, this is what we're dealing with now. Interesting fact, these guys all have crazy damage on... Oh, boy. If I, if I could just hit you guys. Oh, boy. Oh, there's so many. There's so many. These guys with the enchanted diamond pickaxes, they have like sharpness 5 on the things. Or actually, they have sharpness 4. And it hurts, okay? It really hurts. Look at this. We've evolved. Last time we fell down here, we were like... We were destroyed, just like my frame rate. Oh man, okay, um, I need blocks for down there for sure. I, I definitely need blocks. That, that'll do, kind of. Um, there's spawner there. No, it broke. Spawners are back there. There is a spawner over here. Let me break that. Kill you, so I can get some drank. I'm extremely thirsty. I can't see anything. You guys need to stop shooting my face. Oh, that's broken. Nice. There's like hidden ones in the back as well. Maybe I'll get some more wither skeleton skulls or something. Alright, I think we are mostly clear. I mean, there's the occasional these guys, you know, but they're not really. Oh my god. This chest is actually full. We've got... Wow, dude, we're gonna have to, like, decide what we take here. There's a lot of it. Ring of Regeneration! Those are, like, the rarest one. It's, like, single out items like this. Stuff that's super replaceable, we're gonna get rid of. Dude, that's crazy. Alright, look at this! Resistance, speed, more diamonds, some gold. An actual heart. I don't really need that, but I'm going to take it anyways because I'm a hoarder. Another- a ring of strength? Dude, look at all these stunks. Just look at all these stunks, man. Take full set of diamond for sure. Take you. Both the rings. A lot of the rings are kind of just backups and the- there's no fourth one. That's weird. Dude, look at that though! Look at all that loot we just got! That's insane! And let's get out of here! Just like that, we come in, we take what we need, and we leave. Um... Ooh, oh! There are Wither Skeleton Skulls. Alright, it's definitely time to get out of here, because this, this one definitely lags like crazy. I can feel the stuff underneath me spawning, and I'm not really in the mood to deal with that. I'm honestly not even going to mark this on the map, because I just I don't want to deal with it. Uh, we got some really good loot. Um, quick little pro tip, every single diamond axe they drop, sharpness 4. Every bow, power 3. So you get a bunch of those, you got power 4, and you've got sharpness 5. So, super cool little tip there about those disgusting towers. But for the amount of stuff that spawns inside of them further down, the actual chests that are, da that are down there are not really worth. Alright guys, this is incredible. This is something that I've only ever found in my creative worlds. Uh, the ones I use for thumbnails, right? And you'll notice how it's kind of weird on the outside. It's like its own giant structure. Because if you look down, it's got its entire, like, area. And if you go up here, there's like this cool little, you know, casual kind of cozy place up top. But if you look in the center, you'll notice, like, a secret base underneath, right? We're gonna dig in there. And I, I don't think we're gonna find a desert this episode, but that's fine. Because this... 
This will suffice. This is nice. Also, I just learned... Oh, wait. Oh, well, here... Oh, oh, there's poison boys in here. Jeez, stop. I also just learned quite a bit from... Oh, okay, okay, are you... Are you... Plague 2 and... What else did it give me? Yeah, there's an abandoned storage facility over there. And then what is this? Cobblestone, that's... Odd. But yeah, this whole place, the floor is made of freaking lapis. And there's a couple other things. So there's an abandoned storage facility right back here. I can't, I can't break this wood that easily. I'm gonna have to sit here and manually punch this wood. And it's got tons of chests with signs, with like labeled stuff. But I haven't... Last time when I looked in this, there was no stuff inside of the chests. But I think there's supposed to be. If not, there's a hidden chest. So... See, it says like stone stairs and stuff. I know there's chests in the floor. And there's like a redstone like tripwire thing that leads you down into like this. It's so weird. This is like the weirdest thing. I, I swear. Yeah, there's that. I swear one of these had like a... Some kind of loot. Okay, this chest has... What? 31 cooked pork chops. And this chest has eggs. That's... So... That chest actually has sand. Oh, here it is. What? This is the weirdest thing. It's like an actual player's house. It's got actual chests in it. Alright, let's pop down the ender chest, which I think is full. Yeah, um... Yeah, we, we ran into a problem here. I need to take all of the lapis, and I need to take a bunch of the stuff out of this chest. I've got no storage whatsoever. There's a gas here, there's glowstone. So I did mark it on the map. I marked it as, uh, I literally marked it as, wait, where is it? Super cool thing. So I was gonna save it for another episode, but I decided, nah, let's go explore it. So we're definitely gonna come back here and actually loot it. However, there's, there's a lot more to this base. Is it downstairs? There's- Oh, there's beds! I didn't even know there was a bed spot. What? Um... Oh, okay. So we got like- Oh, it's broken, apparently? We got beds. There's like note blocks up here. We go down here. There's an enchanting table that sucks because it's not in your books. Oh, uh, there's a little nether area, which I'm going to promptly plug up because whoever- Whoever did this obviously didn't think about- what is- what is hurting me? Yeah, see? See? Bound to happen. Whoever did this didn't think about our- Dude, stop! Where are you? They didn't think about Arl craft. Okay. Aw, oh, he's burning the floor! So we got nether wart. There's like pumpkin, there's watermelon, there's something else in here. There's like a hidden section. Not under here, although there is stuff under there. What is this? This room can be customized. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. No more lava, please. What the hell? Stop! What are you? Hi! Jerk, die. Yeah, no, no lava. Get out of there. No lava, please. I'm good. I've had enough lava and fire. Um, so I just learned a whole, whole bunch of things about RL Craft, like how to beat some of the final bosses, stuff to do, and I want to get villagers, right? I want to make a villager farm. I want that in Breaking 3. What should I throw? I want to take all this lapis, but I need to throw something. We're going to throw the coal. Coal's super replaceable. We're going to steal all this lapis, and there's definitely some... I think this is actually it. Yeah, there's like a hidden, like, exit. Ooh, yeah, there's, there's like lighting for downstairs. Wait. Oh, no, it's that. There's there's definitely still something else hidden. But I want to see how much lapis this place has. 
It's got, it's doubled up over here. Dude, I've already got 27 lapis blocks. What? I think I just found like, there's like an underwater hatchway thing with like some ladders and... What the hell? I think I just found like the secret escape route things. I know there's like this weird like escape route kind of dungeon thing down here. Uh... Yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm good. Over, over there, I'm, I'm just gonna close that off. But it leads you out the bottom of like the structure. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool structure. Overall, what I, like would I use it? Nah. It's can. Oh, here we. Oh. Yeah, this is kind of what I was talking about. What is this? What? Wait, are these secret chests? Or no, they're part of the storage. Yeah, it's it's just this weird big structure. I don't know. I don't know if it's really cool or if it's just really poorly made. But either way. No, this was intended. You were intended to get back here. Why though? I haven't even started to take the flooring yet, and I've already got so much lapis. If you find this, definitely come in there. And just definitely steal all of the lapis. It's so much stonks. Also a good source of nether wart. So you got that going on for you. Alright, I think it's about time to get out of here. There's a bunch of azure cinders spawning underneath. This is actually a decently dangerous place. I also learned... Oop, mine. That there's this here. Which is one of the ways out. Which leads down to the cinders. I think I'm good. So, yeah. I, I might have missed some. But I mined 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Eight stacks of of lapis. I actually think I'm not gonna get lapis anymore. I don't think I'm gonna pick it up. That's some, that's a lot of lapis. That's a full chest full of lapis. Um, I don't need any more lapis. And I've also got a lot of levels now too. We need to we need to head home. Um, I've got a lot of crap on me, and I don't think we're gonna find the desert this episode. I do know of better mining tools, so I might just go ahead and make. Get me, get me out of here. I'm done with this place. Um, I might just go ahead and make the tool that we were going to make. Just so I can, you know, get it and start. And we can, in the future, look for level 5 dragons. So I think another pro strat that we're going to go for is we're going to get villagers, right? Um, this entire time we've been doing villages. Every time we go to a village, I've been kind of ignoring the villagers because I was like, oh... It's before the village or pillage update, so they don't have the trading system that they have. However, that's not... Is this a new tower? Oh, hi. Hi, friend. Oh, it's a broken tower. It could still be useful. Eh, it's fine. Um, it was before the village and pillage update, so... You know, we don't really... I, I thought they wouldn't be useful. But apparently, villagers can have ultra-rare books, right? And I also am learning that with the rock, you can use his ability, like his mob ability, is to pick mobs up just like the rock actually does. So like, I can go down here. What should I pick up? Creeper, that's a bad idea. Go to F5. We're gonna pick up one of these boys, right? Can I get one of you? Can I, can I, oh, I got him. Oh, <laughs> he's mine now. And you can pick up a villager this way. And just take the villager. Yeah, I'm bored of you though. Wait, a desert! Oh my god! We just found a desert! My inventory is full. No! Oh my god, guys. We just found a village with the best structure- one of the best structures in a village. In a desert! This- this could not get any better! Oh my god! Does it have- does not have a library. That's unfortunate, but- this is still dope. Okay, we're gonna go home. Where, where's the thing? There it is, cool. Cool, dude, this, this adds up. Like, if I didn't find that other structure and I didn't go home, like I wasn't on my way of going home, we would have not found this. We're gonna name it Desert, we're gonna put it all caps. Desert Village. I, I think I used the wrong desert. Yeah, for sure. Desert, 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 desert. Why does that look weird? I feel like I'm just stupid. I might just be stupid. We're fine. We're gonna go home. 
We're gonna go dump our stuff, and we're gonna go back to the desert and get those things to make the weapon. Look at all of that lapis. I never have to loot lapis anymore. Never again. All the lapis is just gonna get dropped on the ground. 100%. Um, so we're gonna take the power off of this bow. So I also learned kind of my goals as to what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna keep my dragon chest piece, which sucks because I should've put mending on that. And we're gonna get a set of tide armor, preferably the purple tide armor. We're gonna get the helmet, the legs, and the boots. And that is the optimal set of gear. And then I'm also going to get a dragon rapier and a shield. So that way we can have, we can use a shield again and have a um, a rapier so we don't have uh, mining fatigue. But I'm going to dump my stuff and we're going to go, I guess, wait till nighttime and go back to the village. Also, I named my Silk Touch pickaxe Silky Smooth because this one's Reach for Riches and this one's Silky Smooth. And I learned the ultimate knowledge today. I need to figure out how to do it. I'm not sure if it's brewing or not, but you can make carrot juice, right? And carrot juice is the ultimate drink thing, right? So golden carrot juice. Um, you need purified water bottle, sugar, and a golden carrot. And this thing will hydrate you pretty much for, for a long time. So if you're going into a place where you're going to attack a lot of stuff, bring golden carrot juice. We're just going to go through this desert a lot, kill a bunch of stuff, hope we get enough drops and level up our tool. We can craft it and we are good to go. We got the new mining tool. All right, so we made it out pretty well. Tell me how I also just found a second village in the same desert. Like, what? Um, but yeah, we made it out pretty well. We got 14 throwing scythe charges, um, 8 mud shot charges, and I think that's actually it. But, I mean, that's, that's better than nothing. I haven't been to this village yet. I wonder if... So that structure's got okay loot. That structure, I think, has a library, question mark? Is there... Oh, there's there's death worms. I remember you. You killed me a long time ago. Ooh. Death worm eggs. I don't really want to pet death worm, but I'll take it. I always put it to use something. I I'm, I'm keep learning more and more about this mod pack, guys. There's so much stuff for me to still do. Oh, it's just this one. Okay. I don't need to be in there. Let's check some of the villager trades while we're here, I guess. Villagers, don't fear me. I'm not going to kill you yet. Got to see your trades first. All right, those are all wood chests. I like wood, winky face, but I think I'm good. Uh, trash. Oh, and there, there's also a red dragon in the desert. I didn't mention that. Yeah, these guys. Yeah, thank you. And yes, I've been taking the fire and ice flowers for the future dragon taming that we will do. Coming up pretty soon when we find those five tier dens, so... It's gotta be a certain color. I wish there was purple dragons. Alright, we're gonna head home and we're gonna make this new tool. Hopefully we'll have enough to make it as powerful as it can be, which I think is level three. All right, look at that. We have nine wither skulls. We can summon three withers now. All right, so we're going to need the three pieces to make this bad boy. And we can power the one up. So hopefully I'll have enough. So Ganox Sphere goes here. Oh, I've got those. And... Wow, it's, it's just level two, that's it? This is equipment infuser though. I think I can continue to upgrade it even after. So we're just gonna craft it now. I don't quite remember how to do this. Don't yell at me in the comments. Um, yeah. So harvests three by two by nine. Okay, so let's go see exactly how this thing and i think i could just put it into the infuser and it would just you know do the thing so if i go like this yeah <laughs> look at that so if i go like right here and i just kind of now we're talking oh oh man this one's i want to level it up dude look at this and now we can change our treasury to whatever we want. Um, we can do emerald. I'd also mine stuff like that. However, it doesn't give you all the XP for it. 
And if you hold shift, you also don't get the the full amount of stuff. Or it only breaks one if you hold shift, I mean. This is nice. This is so nice. Ooh, what was that? Loki kind of- Aw, oh, Gravel's always gonna ruin it. Now that we got this tool, we can look for level 5 dragons. And we have the ability to mass- To amass a ton of cobblestone that we can smelt into actual stone. Now I have this giant hole mess in front of my- Right by my house. We need to move soon. This is gonna be full of mobs, like, all the time. But, uh, that's okay. Yep, we accomplished quite a bit this episode, I think. We did a lot of looting. We got us some new equipment, and we got some new goals, to be honest. I also have a deathworm egg. I'm not some, this little baby deathworm. I hate it. I don't like it to exist. But yeah, that is going to be it for this episode, guys. If you do like the series, don't forget to leave a like. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Anyways, this has been Pain Domination, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.